Welcome back scholars, it's Mrs. Salka, science time. Today we're going to look at physical changes that take place when I put a marshmallow into a microwave. So all I have today are two marshmallows, a paper plate, a toothpick, and two drops of blue food dye. Now watch, I'm going to do something fun here. I'm going to put a dot here, put a dot here, and put a little line here, and we'll even give it a little nose. So now you can see that we've got a little smiley face. Now, on this one, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to make him sad. So I'm going to put a dot there, a dot there, a nose, and we're going to make him sad. The reason I'm doing this is so that we can see the two different marshmallows. So now we've got cranky pants and smiley face. And we're going to put them in the microwave for one minute. And you're going to be able to see through the microwave door what exactly happens. Come on, you ready to record? Go. Okay, I'm pushing the timer for one minute. Now let's see what happens to our two marshmallows. So far we're at 10, oh! One looks like he's getting bigger at 10 seconds. There goes the other one. You can see them getting larger and larger. They've almost doubled in size. Oh, which one's getting taller? Oh, they're pretty close to the same size. Now, while you're looking at this, what do you think is going on inside? We know that heat makes the molecules move faster and it's still a solid. So what do you think is going on inside? You think it's cooking from the inside out? Do you think it's still gonna be soft? Remember our properties, is it gonna be hard? Is it gonna be soft? We know first off it's gonna be hot because we added heat. But let's see what happens when we take it out. Woo! Here are our two marshmallows. And you can actually see that right here, nothing really changed other than their shape. So that still is physical change. Over here though, we can see that it got brown and it actually changed inside. Let's see what happens if I cut it open. It's almost hollow inside and you can see that it became a syrupy brown goop. So there's your chemical change inside because it actually turned the marshmallow sugar back to a creamy caramel kind of brown. They're still pretty soft though. And let's see if I tasted a piece. Still tastes like a marshmallow, still very soft. This one though, listen. He's getting harder down here. He's actually crunching. So here's where our chemical reaction took place. And remember, chemical happens when we change it into something different. So now the color has changed, it's brown, and it's crunchy. So what happened to the sugar? Because marshmallows really are comprised mainly of sugar. What did the microwave do to make this one crunchy and this one still say soft and gooey? That's all for today. We'll come back tomorrow and experience some chemical reactions with heat. Have a great day, scholars.